In this edition of PVP Tips, I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is taking care of your hands and arms. Ma, and that's the hand. <laughs> On a ride as long as PVP, one thing that generally doesn't happen on shorter rides, even a 600K, is the very great potential of starting to do some, at least temporary damage to your hands and arms. Finishing PVP with weakness in your fingers, weakness in your arms, numbness, is very common. When I finished PVP in 2007, I came back and had weak hands and arms for several months. It eventually went away, but it was a little concerning at the time. 2011 was not as bad. I think I learned a little bit more about hand position and so on. And 2015, uh, just kind of minimal. So it is something you can learn to avoid and to adjust. So a few things I would recommend. Mm-hmm. One is to move your hands around a lot during the day. Try not to settle in on having your hands in just one position all day long. Move them around, you know, tops of the bars, on the drops, on the flats. Just keep it moving so you're not putting the same pressure on the same parts of your arms all the time. Mm-hmm. Another thing that's worked for me is to use non-padded gloves. Now what I wear all the time now and for the past few years, including in 2015, is long gloves that have a leather or similar kind of palm. What I find that does is, first of all, it lets me hold on to the bars easier. If I'm using very thick padded tape, which I don't do, and then add on the padding in the gloves, it becomes harder, for me anyway, to hold on to the handlebars. I mean, imagine you're trying to grip something really tightly. Just put your hand up and imagine what that looks like. Your finger's gonna be closer together, making a smaller circle. I believe that the less effort I have to put in to holding onto the bars, the easier it is on my hands. So I use, as I said, long finger gloves with a nice grippy palm and just regular handlebar tape, not thickly padded, none of that stuff. Mm -hmm. The problems I've had with my hands have not been related to sort of, I don't know, the pounding or the vibration from the bars, the kinds of things that padded tape or padded gloves would help. They've always been more, for me anyway, a muscular issue starting in the hands and going up to my lower arms and really related, I think, to the effort required to hold onto the bars and really just keep a grip on the bars firmly, you know, for three, three and a half days. That's something, again, getting back to my very first PVP tips that is really different from other long rides is just that the way that small things like that, just the effort of holding onto the bars, for instance, adds up over a very long ride like PVP. So I don't feel that padded bars are the answer. I think standard, regular old padded tape is fine. I don't use the big thick gel inserts or anything. Combined with gloves that give you a good grip on the bar and don't require that your hand is open a lot to be able to hold onto them. So you can close your hand around the bars. So watch out for that stuff in your training rides on your 600K. Take a look, you know, look at your hands. On your 600K, for instance, pay attention to how your hands are feeling, your hands and arms. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're out on PVP and you find that, that that you're starting to have problems with your hands, one thing you can do if your bike allows it is to start raising the handlebars a little bit. Raising the bars is gonna take a little of the weight off your hands. Now it's gonna put it back on your saddle. So think about that. But if you have that ability, that's one thing you can do. Mm-hmm. That's just a short tip for you today on a very important topic. 
keep in mind as you're preparing for a PVP, and hopefully it'll be of some help. See you on the road in the next video.